rhubarb is also known as pie plant, which seems appropriate since most people, including myself, associate rhubarb with pie. I'm here at the Iowa Arboretum with Linda Nay from ISU, and Linda, tell us more about rhubarb. Well, rhubarb is actually a vegetable that we eat as a fruit, and the reason it's a vegetable is we eat the vegetative portion of the rhubarb, the stalk or the petiole of the plant. We don't eat the blade because it contains a moderate amount of oxalic acid, and that can be toxic. So just eat the petiole, and it's unique uh, acidity in the stock gives it a great tartness and flavor when it's sugared. It's great in pies, it's sauces, and other desserts. So it's a wonderful vegetable to have in your garden. Okay, now what varieties do well here? There are a number of varieties that do well in our area, such as uh, Valentine for a red stock, Crimson Red, Canada Red, and McDonald. And if you want a green stock rhubarb, you can go with one called Victoria. Now, do you start it from seed, or how do you plant them? Rhubarb is started from divisions of the crown, such as this. And you can buy them at garden centers throughout the area early in the spring, plant them as early as possible, or you can divide your friend's plant or a plant that you already have. And again, that needs to be done just as the plants are emerging from the ground. Then you plant it in a sunny, well-drained location, and wait a few years before you take your first harvest. All right, now, any harvesting tips, then? Well, you want to harvest the stalks when they're 15 to 18 inches long, and don't harvest more than two-thirds of the plant at any one time, because you want to keep that plant vigorous and growing well, and not weaken it. And then discontinue harvest about the middle of June. It has nothing to do with the quality of the rhubarb, but more with the vigor of the plant. You want to let that plant build up food reserves for next year's growth and next year's harvest. All right, good to know. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And if you would like more information on rhubarb, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gilman.